I got a couple of comments on my channel saying that I'm doing way too much volume. Some guy said that doing more than eight sets of eight is too much. Some people told me, why don't you do progressive overload? Why not add some weights, do weighted calisthenics? Or maybe why not do leverage progressions? And in this video, I'm gonna tell you guys specifically why for me, I really like doing just basic exercises, high volume, push-ups, pull-ups, dips, chin-ups, muscle-ups. For me, these are the basic exercises. I do different variations of, wit, of each, but I'm doing these variations not to make it more challenging, just to hit my muscles from a different angle. Now, I completely understand this might not be optimal. Uh, I'm sure that there are many scientific studies that tell you to do something else. This is not about science. This is not about optimal. This is about sustainable, fun training that I consistently can do for many, many years to come. Uh, I personally have a background of lifting weights in the gym. I was really into strength training, powerlifting. You could see my earlier videos in the channel. I used to do a lot of squats, deadlifts, bench press. So I completely understand that if you wanna get stronger, you have to lift more weight over time. But I completely ditched that whole state of thinking and now I'm doing it completely different. Now, instead of lifting more weight over time, I'm doing more volume over time. This means that instead of doing a workout of 100 pull-ups and 200 push-ups in 40 minutes, I'm now doing 200 pull-ups and 400 push-ups in 40 minutes. And in a few years, hopefully I'm doing 500 and 1,000. This is still a form of progressive overload. You don't necessarily have to do more weight. You can do more work. And ultimately, it's all about how your muscles feel. And for me, I have a much better mind-muscle connection. I can really burn out all my muscles doing higher rep sets and more volume. So this is the machine gun approach. If you're doing progressive overload, you have to do low volume usually, not to overtrain. So that's the sniper approach. You do a few sets, you're like a sniper, you gotta make sure you hit the target and then you're not gonna have a chance to hit it again. Now, of course, this works, it's very effective. There are plenty of bodybuilders, calisthenics athletes, people of all walks of life who build excellent physiques doing this low volume approach. Now, for me, I'm taking the machine gun approach. I know I'm gonna spam a lot of bullets, but I'm not gonna hit every single time, but it doesn't matter, because at the end of the workout, the muscles are gonna be destroyed. So instead of doing three, four sets, I'm doing 20 sets, 25 sets per workout, per muscle group. And afterwards, I feel amazing, because A, my muscles are completely gone, and B, to do 25 sets of 20 reps, 25 sets of 10 reps if it's pull-ups, you're gonna get very tired cardiovascular wise. So I'm doing muscular endurance training, I'm doing hypertrophy training, and I'm doing cardio training all in one. And I'm 37 turning 38, I'm a busy guy, I don't have time to do cardio, do weights, do strength training. I wanna train one hour every day, maybe an hour and a half, depending on how much time I have available. So in this time frame, I wanna hit everything. And for me, the most efficient way to do it is high volume calisthenics, doing very high reps, to my ability of course, and doing a lot of volume. Am I gonna get as jacked as I possibly could? I really don't know. Maybe I'll get more jacked with weighted calisthenics, but I don't care because I'm having a lot of fun. It fits into my schedule and I can keep doing this for years to come. And ultimately, it's not intensity, but consistency that counts. So you gotta find a training method that you really enjoy a training method that you can keep doing for a long time, and you gotta keep doing it. Some guys will come along, say what you're doing is suboptimal. Other guys will say you're doing too much, you're doing too little. Forget what anybody else says, listen to your own body. If it feels good, and you feel like you're making progress, you're doing more work over time, you're doing more work in the same amount of time, you're getting rep PRs, it's working, something is happening, something is changing. And then, there's the one, metric that never lies that's your scale measuring your waist and the mirror are you getting more jacked are you getting more weight on the scale while your waist stays the same these are 
the, the scale and waste are objective measures. The mirror is subjective, but if you take pictures, it could become objective as well. And there's also a lot of anecdotal evidence on the internet at this point that doing basic training for high volume works very well. There are plenty of people on YouTube that do calisthenics and just high volume without doing progressive overload in terms of adding more weight, and they look very good. Now, of course, there is also evidence to people doing the other way too. I'm not saying that this is the best way. I'm saying this is what I like right now. This is what I'm gonna keep doing. And my channel is kind of an experiment of what happens if you just stick to your body weight, but you do a lot of volume, do a lot of sets, a lot of reps, burn out the muscle. Also, I don't really do full range of motion. For me, it feels the best to do three quarters range of motion. When I do my pull-ups, I try to go chin above the bar, but as much as I can, I try not to go into a full dead hang. Because when I go into a dead hang, I feel like it disengages my back. So I try to keep the tension. With my push-ups, I'll try to pump them. Now I go almost all the way up. I do three quarters of the way. Once in a while, I'll lock out if I'm getting tired. But I'm doing it in a way that feels the best for me. Now I know some keyboard warriors, they might think, oh, it's not full of range of motions. Those reps don't count. Well, how about this? It sure does something. Today was a chin-up session. I did 250 chin-ups in one hour. Maybe it's suboptimal, but gains are being made. Thanks for tuning in and peace out.